Can we just put that into perspective? Can we just put that into perspective? You soul charged for five and then ended on a Jalto. <laughs> One singular Jalto. Welcome back to another episode of Table 500. Today we're going to be looking at Yang Zings, as I like to call them, Wu-Tang Dragons. I'm funny, haha, <laughs> cringe. So this is sent in by Robbie here, as requested. Here are some Yang Zing replay, as requested. Uh, did, I, did I request Yang Zing? Did someone request Yang Zing? Yo, who requested Yang Zing? Because it wasn't me. <laughs> I'm just I'm, I'm being stupid. I'm just tell you that one. So while I know the basic plays, the deck still has a hard time getting off the ground and doing damage a lot of times. I did play a match against the Skull Seven player and lost game two and three, but the games were so long, it would take too much time and they were just grinding a lot. I still suck with the deck, I know, but at least I'm not as bad as GCD and his Cyber deck. Yo. Also, the videos are labeled in order of me learning and getting better with the deck and plays. If you have Twitch Prime, join the Twitch and hit that subscribe button for free emotes. Yeah, there you go, guys. If you're watching on YouTube and you have Amazon Prime, sub to me on Twitch, even if you don't use Twitch, okay? It's free. Just saying. Haha, <laughs> XD sell it. All right, let's get into this first replay here. So, um, I am very familiar with Yang Zings, guys. <laughs> Weirdly enough, so there won't be a lot of reading here today. But we'll see what kind of nonsense you're going to be able to do. Now, the reason, let me just explain really quick why uh, Yang Zings aren't, like, good <laughs> and why they haven't been good. See this card here, Jiaotu? This is, like, their only, like, good, like, turn one play, okay? Jiaotu is, like, the only card in this deck that does anything turn one, right? Okay? So, if you're playing Jiaotu in a format after the, you know, this guy came out in 2014... Four years later, there have been so many hand traps added to the game. <laughs> if if you resolve Jaltu, you deserve a medal. You deserve an actual legitimate medal if you can resolve Jaltu. Okay? Because, like, this man gets fucked by everything. Another thing to mention is that all the Yang Zings are when effects. So if they, you know, if someone goes MST, chain link one. Torrential Tribute, Chainlink 2. Um, you kind of like, you're, you're just a little fucked for like a bit, like a better lack of a, better lack of a term. Uh, but yeah, uh, one for one, interesting. Please don't tell me you're playing one for one for Ch Chai Wen. I really hope that's not the case here. Uh, Yang Zing Path is nuts though. This is like an Avarice. This card's really good. Um, and all the Yang Zings have effects that give the Synchro Monster a buff. For those of you who are unaware. So for example, if you synchro with Bian, you can make the monster immune to battle. Uh, Swanee gives it 500 attack. Bixie makes it immune to traps. I think that's Bixie. Um, and yeah. So Chai Wen in the graveyard, if a um, Yang Zing is activated, I think it is. You can special it. Oh, so basically if, if one of your guy floats, you can special this from your graveyard. And then it's banished when it leaves the field. They all float, by the way. They all float if you didn't gather that. Every single one of these floats, but they miss timing, so that's a little bit monka s. Let's see what you do first turn. What you got? Is it you going first? Okay, Jiao Tu. No response. What? What is it? What is like first turn? Because like, bef bef pre master row four, you could play Zefrani in your deck, and you could sync this with uh with the Zefrani summon out. Make uh Baxia, Baxia pop the other Yang Zing you summon, summon um the uh, something from your graveyard and then the relevant number from your deck and you would basically end with Baxia Herald turn one immune to battle so you could summon a Baxia in defense I mean no not a Baxia in defense yeah you summon in defense anyway because it's got bigger defense and a, and a Herald and that was like an okay play like pre-master rule four so what do you what do you do pre-master rule four a post-master rule four you make needle fiber okay yeah of course you make needle fiber of course like what else do you do um yep yeah, all right anyway Formula Synchron, draw one. Avarice. All right, I mean, you get, we're just kind of like, you, you know, you're just kind of like hoping for the best, aren't you? Seeing like, did you like path into path? Oh, that sucks, man. All right, you're going to uh, one for one, a Chai Wen. Glow up bulb. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is so shit. This is so shit. You've literally just went Bixie Pass. This is Bixie Pass. To be fair, you got a creation, so I mean, oh, you're gonna go off if he attacks this, man. 
if he if he attacks your Bixi, you are gonna go off. You know what? At least you didn't go minus. At least you didn't go minus. Break my board. Break my board. Uh, you're gonna have to be really careful careful with your torrential and make sure you don't make your Bixi miss timing. Like if he has like if he has a normal summon effect, like an on summon effect, and you activate torrential, like you're you're gonna miss timing. So be careful. Test Tiger. What is this guy playing? Glad Beast DD. Yo, Glad Beast DD. <laughs> right, let's see where this goes. All right, Proving Grounds. That's the uh, Rota, I believe. Activate creation for no reason whatsoever. I don't know why you did that. Um, now that makes your opponent really realize. Oh, by the way, I don't. Uh, I shouldn't activate my. Uh, um, I shouldn't uh, destroy your Bixie, but you know it's fine. Your opponent's uh, silly. You managed to activate Trench without missing any timing. Creation gets one from deck. Bixie gets one from deck as well, and Chai One comes out of the uh, the grave. Uh, you could have set up for a Trish here, you know. So what have you got? You got level five. This is a really obscure number you've went for. What were you hoping to make? Like you should have went Chai Wen, and then Bixie float into like uh, Zefrani or Tauti, and then like the other one would be like the relevant number, and you could go into Trishula. And you could have trashed them on his turn, you could have black crows them on his turn, but you went for a 5. Chanbara Swani, pass. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, he's gonna stick to the game plan. What? Hello? Dark Worm and Bestiari are both on the field. I never would have thought I would see these two cards on the field at the same time, but... There we are. What What are you doing? Are you playing Supply Squad? What year is this? People drop this after one week of release. By the way, every replay starts with a uh, Jouto. Every replay starts with Jouto, just so you guys see. Alright, okay. Um, so you're going for the same Librarian player. We're gonna go for... Did you mean the, the replays is you getting progressively better? Or did you mean getting progressively worse? The videos are labeled in order of me learning and getting better with the deck and plays. This is him getting better, by the way. This is what he said. Th this is... This, my friend. You are an embarrassment to Yang Zing players around the world. <laughs> you you are embarrassing. You are embarrassing Yang Zing players. You, oh, by the way, you're staring down a Dart Magician deck with Circle. Um, I can promise you this is not going to be a good time for you. Oh, wait, he doesn't have any way to trigger it, though. What a silly boy. Did he call two? Why did he call two? Yo, Yang Zing's call two, by the way. Just if anyone is out there like wants advice on how to beat Yang Zing, you know, do you guys have a Yang Zing player at your locals that you keep losing to every week? Call two on reasoning. You Bixie too strong. Bixie too strong. Anyway, uh Dark Hole, Supply Squad, pass. Did you, did you not normal summon anything? I, I zoned out there. I was too busy ranting about how good your uh reasoning call was. Well his reasoning call. Um, so what, what the hell is this thing? Dark Magic expan ex Expanded? Okay. Uh, then we're going to Torrential and Double Torrential. Uh, did he target one with Circle? Yes, he did. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, desires into Soul Charge. Oh my god, right. Look, what is, what is your Soul Charge for five? Here we go. Okay, you need to do something big. You need to do something really big here. Uh, uh, okay, Torrential. I mean, that's fine. We draw a card. We special four from deck. Like, you know... Um, I don't think he had any way to make that missed timing, to be fair. So, you know, it's it's whatever. Yazi into Baxia. Shuffle two scales. Destroy Baxia, summon Jao to... What? <laughs> you sold charged for five, and you ended on a Jao to. Can we just put that into perspective? Can we just put that into perspective? You soul charged for five, and then ended on a Jao to. <laughs> One singular Jalto. <laughs> Soul charge for five, and you ended on a Jalto. <laughs> incredible, absolutely incredible. All right, let's see what you can do with Mare Mare, okay? Chan. <laughs> you could have at least made Star Boy. <laughs> You're not even playing Star Boy, I bet you. What is this field? What am I looking at? <laughs> like, <laughs> this is so dreadful. Oh, Supply Squad triggers on tokens? I didn't realize that. That's amazing. <laughs> Alright, Black Crows. I mean, you're losing more cards than he is. <laughs> you're actually losing more cards than he is. <laughs> okay, set Jout. <laughs> Again! 
<laughs> Again with the stretch out. <laughs> you're going to deck out. Alright, this is it. This is the turn, boys. This is the turn. He has to win. This is it. This is it. He has to win. <laughs> Alright, you know what? I'm like... It's probably much of the same for the four free play. Uh, this was just like uh, this was incredibly terrible. This was so shit. <laughs> um, I don't know what to tell you, man. I don't know what to tell you. Like, anyway, your deck building. Um, dude, let me. Like, I wasn't kidding about supply squad. Yang Zing players, dedicated hardcore Yang Zing players. You know, we see, we have Jordan in our chat here. Jordan in our chat here. Um, you know, when Duelist Lines came out, what was the options? Burning Abyss, Shadal, and Yang Zing. Jordan thought that Yang Zing was the best deck, so he picked up Yang Zing because he's, you know, he was a little retarded pleb. Um, and Jordan, you know, even he realized that Supply Squad, you probably cut that. So he cut Supply Squad, you know, like three days into Duelist Alliance format. Okay? Three days into Duelist Alliance format. Okay? Just, this is not good in this format. It wasn't good back then. It's not good now. Um, you need a Star Boy here if you're going to play Mare Mare. Um, where's your Trishula? Where's your Trishula? Double Chanbara. You really like Chanbala. Like Chanbara. What why do you like this card so much? I just I'm I'm not seeing it. Like where's your other toolboxy cards? Like, you know, you don't have an eight. Like, you know, you can make like a, a pretty beefy stardust with this deck. Like, you know, you need Trishula. Like I I need to I, I should say that again. You need Trishula. Uh Link Spider is how do you summon this? How do you summon Link Spider. Am I missing something? Like, I don't, I don't know. Um, I mean, other than that, the ratios aren't too bad, honestly. Like, Path is like, you know, it's a hard one per turn, and it's really bad if you open it and, like, don't have a Jal to play. Um, so, I mean, like, I can kind of get behind that. Like, Supply Squad's terrible. I can't think of any tech cards, honestly. Like, it's been a long time since I played this. I'd probably just play Traps and Floodgates, like... Honestly, I would just play Traps and Floodgates. Um, Mare Mare, right, okay. Yes, of course, those tokens are normal monsters, I suppose. So that makes sense. Interesting. Why do you need that? Like, you know you can play Starboy. Can I just... That's that's two zones. Big if true, but Pog Champ, two zones. Um, anyway. Uh, so, like, you know, like, Christians, they have, like like machine cards you know like, like play iron call and stuff like that you know they all revolve around machines like there's no like worm cards you know i think like that's kind of like what konami are kind of missing with this that we need we need like worm support okay so if you've watched this far thanks everyone for watching check the description down below and find out how you can um uh uh, uh take part and uh leave a comment if you watch this part hashtag worm support okay hashtag worm support in the comment section if you've watched this far and until next time my name is Jiao Tu, Darkness of the Yang Zing.